In 1921, a speedy contraption skidded across the snow-covered fields of Minnesota's Red River Valley. An airplane propeller, car engine, and other parts were cobbled together into one of the first snowmobiles ever built. The man behind the snow sled was Frederick McKinley Jones, an African-American tinkerer turned engineer, whose work would change his hometown of Halleck, Minnesota, and later change the world. He sought knowledge and sought understanding. So, I mean, not only did his, his interest in the world and technology uh, lead to a great career for him, but it also led him down all these different paths. When he was a boy, Fred liked to tinker with his father's pocket watch. Eventually orphaned, Fred turned his tinkering toward early automobiles. Working odd jobs throughout the Midwest, Fred ended up on a large farm in northwestern Minnesota run by Walter Hill, son of empire builder James J. Hill. Here, Fred found work as an engineer, and he found a home in Halleck. The year was 1912. This phenomenal fix-it man kept Halleck up and running in these early days of gas engines and electricity. After fighting in World War I, Fred Jones returned to Halleck and to his lifelong passion for automobiles. At the tracks around the region, Fred would run into a lot of bigoted drivers and race organizers, but all things were equal when the flag was dropped and Fred dominated the area's races. Off the track, Fred's tinkering went beyond cars. His fix-it work was often to help a fellow Halleck resident to meet the need of a neighbor. A local doctor complained to Fred about having to constantly haul aching patients from their rooms to the hospital x-ray station. Fred devised a portable x-ray machine. Radio had become a huge part of American life by the 1920s. Fred and a partner created microphones and transmitters. With the advent of talkies, sound was also becoming part of the movies. But the owner of Halleck's Little Gym Theater couldn't afford a new sound system, so he went to Fred for a favor. Halleck's handyman devised a film sound system that was so innovative, it caught the eye of a Minneapolis entrepreneur named Joe Numero. Numero later admitted when a black man entered his office, he thought it was a joke. I'm sure he was surrounded by others who may have at times doubted his ability. Uh, however, I'm sure that there were people who got it and then were able to support him. Numero and Jones started working together. As he did for his neighbors in Halleck, Fred's work was often responding to calls for help and tackling problems it needed solving. In 1938, when his boss asked him to figure out a way to keep food from spoiling during overland transportation, Fred Jones went to work. What he came up with was the world's first system for refrigerated transportation. The technology was applied to trucks and trains in the company Jones and Numero would call Thermo King. Fred Jones made it possible to ship and receive perishables year-round. The supermarket was born. During World War II, Fred adapted the technology for the Army to help bring blood plasma and food to soldiers in the field. His technology that, that started off as a simple thing here in Minnesota ended up saving lives. And while there have always been black scientists and black engineers, their stories have not been in the, in the forefront. And, and so having a, a Fred Jones knowing his story, I think that is incredibly inspiring. Since his death in 1961, Frederick Jones has been recognized as one of America's great inventors and was the first African American to receive the National Medal of Technology. Fred Jones holds more than 50 patents. Fred posthumously received fame, although he never really gained fortune for all of his work at Thermo King. But the fact that his work helped so many, just like his tinkering up in Halleck helped his neighbors, might have made it all right for Fred and his family. His quiet inspiration is another lasting invention. First, don't be afraid to get your hands dirty. Don't be afraid to work. Second, you have to read. All my life has been study and work. And third, believe in yourself.